Hey y'all, don't forget to hit those buttons over there where you're listening. So we've got elevated lead levels found in 12 out of 36 cinnamon and spice blends that were tested. The highest was Paris, P-A-R-A-S. And then if you want to pause to see the others, here are the other 12 listed. Apparently, Southern California got a 4.7 magnitude earthquake this morning. Apparently, there have been no injuries or damages reported as of yet. So, the beginning of the week, um, it was announced that they thought that they had reached an agreement to avoid the strike, but I guess not, which someone had informed me that she didn't believe that that had happened. Um, Boeing, I guess, is preparing to learn whether or not these mechanics and workers, the assembly workers, are going to go on strike, um, which will shut down the production of the company's assembly planes. <laughs> oh. Harvey Weinstein um, is going to be charged with additional crimes in New York. So we know that they had recently overturned his conviction in April, citing unfair testimony from other women not involved in the case. But it sounds like more are going to be coming out. While they're not cute, carriers are apparently raving about the new mail trucks. Which, I think they are cute. Look at those little duck bills. We've got possible history in the making. On election day, two black women could win and get seats in the Senate, which would make history. And that, would, that would double the amount of black women serving on our Senate. Right now there are two, which would make four, in case you're bad at math. And I didn't mean to be, that wasn't me. That was just me feeling, okay. Um, because it's always been filled with white men. So yeah, the 100 members have historically been and continue to be mostly men. Let's see, let's make history. This right here is wild. The court could clear the way for Americans to legally bet on the US elections. A federal judge in Washington has overturned um, Anyways, yeah. I think it... What conflict with public interest? It's already entertainment enough. I mean, that's what it's turned into. I talk about the book, Playing With Fire, the, uh, how the election of 1968 transformed American politics. And when it became all about entertainment and sales and... We got the first billionaire to walk the moon. I don't care. Makes it hard for me to breathe. And you know, there's no telling how much of this is true. Um, the headline reads, former CIA agent to serve 10 years in prison for conspiracy to commit espionage, apparently spying for the Chinese government. But, you know, they could be telling us anything. And this is just... Ugh. I feel like, I don't know what it is that makes me so uncomfortable. I don't know if it's the power that this one skinny blonde and carries she's a mean girl and she's a billionaire and anyways we all know that she endorsed Kamala the night of the debate and I feel like crutches and spice said that it was orchestrated um it was all in my email this morning from Kamala's team about Taylor endorsing and jumping on that bandwagon. I'm not a Swifty. I do not care. Um, yay, I'm glad 337,000 people visited vote.org. Um, but wow. Scare me. All right. Um, don't forget to hit those buttons over there. Oh, my kids and I, we talk about my shirt, the AJR who I like my spirit animal, but like the brainwashing, right? We've got the TV and the money and the blocks of our brain. And man, we got to pay attention to all that stuff. Deconstructing is hard. Okay. Uh, I hope your day doesn't suck. Don't forget to hit those buttons. Love you.